How are you liking the conference so far? This is probably my fifth or sixth conference, and I think that every year the, the foundation outdoes itself with high quality education formatted for us as MPs and PAs so that we can go back and practice treating our patients better, understanding the new drugs better. I think it's been phenomenal, and it always is. They do a great job. Is there anything that you have seen that has really stood out to you this year at Derm 2022? Absolutely. So, you know, we've had so many new drugs come out in the past nine months or so, and what I love about this conference is it stays on top of everything. And we even got a new FDA approval just last week, and there was a lecture on it at this conference. So this conference not only is fun, it's exciting, everybody here is wonderful and nice, and there's so much experience here, but even experienced PAs can learn so much here, and we have the best faculty. We've had so many new products and you know, we really appreciate you being here, Dr. Cohen, on all your expertise. I love your lectures. I always learn so much from you. Uh, would you mind giving a, a quick recap on one of them? Yeah, I think a couple of things that uh, you, you might take out is uh, that, of course, all the comorbidities associated with atopic dermatitis like asthma, hay fever, food allergies, there's that lingering one, allergic contact dermatitis and irritant contact dermatitis, that can look an awful lot like the baseline atopic dermatitis. I think the hardest part in those workups is thinking the patient might have allergic contact dermatitis and then starting a workup for that post possibility. Eczemas all fall under one umbrella and contact dermatitis and atopic dermatitis are under that same umbrella. They're all kind of red, they're all itchy, they're all scaly, and some can form some unusual patterns. So just think about it all the time. What stands out to you about Derm 2022 and the organization so far? Well, I think it's very well organized, very well run, great speakers. Um, the content's really, really strong. Um, I myself have experience, you know, working with Dermatology Pearls and getting that started many, many years ago. But this is another level uh, and it's, it's really, really well run. Every little detail um, has been analyzed and addressed. But the one thing that I think that is different this year is the amount of industry engagement this year. We always have, our sponsors show out every year. We bring, they bring their outstanding sales force, you know, the exhibit halls. We always learn so much with the exhibit halls. But this year we have seen a lot of medical engagement. They want to know what's important for MPs and PAs. They want to know how they can support us differently um, and better um, as MPs and PAs. And I think that shows that the tide may be turning a little bit. Um, in industry stance on MPs and PAs. They, they understand that, one, we're thirsty. We are thirsty and we want the education that they can provide and they can help us excel. But the fact that they're starting to recognize that is phenomenal. And I've had great conversations with both sales and medical. Um, and, I, you know, we're always grateful for our industry sponsors, but they have really showed out this year. Thank you, and I'm, I'm very pleased to be part of a compilation of extraordinary faculty and speakers and, and, and uh, the attendees, all terrific how we're mixing together constantly through the meeting. Love that. My favorite conference. I've been coming for 10 years, and I'll keep coming back. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you at Derm 2023. Awesome. Thank you.